Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgium Beer Brothers channel, Cedric here in Antwerp. But today, without a beer to review, again, I'm having a coke today. But instead, I would like to quickly go over the Tour de Geus Hall of 2024, uh, this time the Fort Brewery. As many of you know, the Tour de Geus is a biannual event organized by Horal, or the High Council of Lambic Brewers and Blenders, or Hoge Raad van Ambachtelijke Lambic Brouwers en Stekers, during which all the Horal members, and some others as well, open their doors to the grand public to come and visit the brewery, to taste the beers, to buy some exclusives, um, to get to know new things. Unfortunately, I didn't find the time to make videos during Tour de Geurs, but the organization did have a film crew and I will be visiting them separately when things are way, way calmer. Now, the Antwerp Beer College, a club that I happen to be a board member of, organizes several bus trips on Saturday and Sunday leaving from Antwerp and each of those buses visits four breweries. This year I joined two of them, visiting seven breweries in total because one overlapped. And of course I got a bunch of beers and goodies as well. On Saturday we visited Kestemont Lindemans Lambic Fabrik and ended up at Oud Beersel. On Sunday we started at Hansen's Artisanaal, went on to Den Herberg, then visited Bonn and again ended up in Oud Beersel. I will not be talking about Bonn or Outbeersel because I didn't buy anything there, um, because I still had a lot of stock, not because there's something wrong with those breweries. But let's have a look at the rest of our visits. For starters, I wasn't actually planning on tagging along on Sunday, but I had such a great day Saturday, so I asked the organization and they still had a spot left on Sunday's bus, so well, here we are. Uh, of course, the alarm clock going off at 8 a.m. on a Sunday wasn't my favorite part, but I am so glad that I still joined because I had already visited three of the four breweries on the itinerary before. Actually, it was the second time for one of them, the third time for both of the others, in two years' time, mind you. But I still have no regrets whatsoever. First up on Sunday was a Hansen's Artisanal, a brewery so artisanal that I can't even include a website, they don't have one. Except for a small disagreement with local police force uh, about buses coming through and parking in the neighborhood, this was a fan freaking tastic visit. Uh, Hansen's is known for their typical flavor profile, quite sharp, quite sour. And on the tour they actually explained where that came from or where that comes from. And we got a short history of the brewery and the family downstairs in between the old and new materials. And then we were led upstairs to the barrel room for a talk about the brewing and the aging. Um, I actually uh, took a walk around the, the, the location and I saw alpacas, so I was very happy. Of course, we also tasted some beers there, but our time was again limited, so we only had a few. Now, luckily, Hansen's offered small glasses as well, so we could taste some more. And I'm not going into detail, because I'll feature each and every one of them on the channel. But in short, um, we saw that they had a limited edition Tour de Geus 2024 Scharbeekse Krieg. Uh, as beer lovers, as brewers, uh, this caught our attention. But we were also cautious after our Schaarbeekse experience the day before at Kestemont. I'll put a link up here. Now, oh my, how great was this? Uh, we even went back for seconds. And I told a friend that I was with uh, that I loved the Audi Geus, but I once had a bad experience with Hansen's Strawberry Lambic at Oudbadje. Uh, I went on to order a Cassis. And he ordered the out batches so I could have another go at it because that's the kind of people that we hang out with. Um, we traded glasses and I truly had to adjust my idea about out batch, uh, so another lesson learned. And after that, another friend uh, that we came across bought us all uh, a glass of young Lambic and it was absolutely awesome. Uh, 
since this was pretty much our breakfast, we also went to the kitchen of Hans's to get a sandwich with local pate and confiture uh, jelly. They had jelly made with Audi Greek and with the Audi Geuze. Uh, we all went for the Geuze, of course, uh, and it was lovely, it was awesome, it was delicacy. As far as the hall goes, um, as usual, I got myself one of those glasses and at least one of each of their beers. Het oude badge, that limited tour de geus 2024, Schaarbeekse Krieke Lambic, the regular oude Krieg, the oude geus, the Cassis and the Framboise. Um, but as you guys see, I did get several of that uh, limited edition Krieg because it was really so, so awesome. Um, as usual, if you want to know more, I would love to uh, give you guys the website for Hansons, but unfortunately they don't have one, but Google them, uh, you'll find some info and I will make a video about them. Um, if you want to know more about Horal, follow that link down below. And if you want to know more about the Antwerp Beer College and what we do, um, again, link down below. By all means, um, become a member, get discounts at all our activities, including Tour de Geurs for 2026. Uh, and we send out magazines as well and stuff. So yeah, that all being said, I will see you guys again tomorrow uh, with I, my final Tour de Geurs haul uh, report. So, cheers.